All right, let's talk about the Archon quest for 4.0. Oh, this quest was a wild ride. First off, if you haven't subscribed, maybe think about it. Our goal is 10,000 subs. But dude, this quest was long. This was a long quest. And look, there were some really cool moments. I'm going to spoil everything. I'm assuming you have already played through the quest if you're watching a video talking about the quest. So therefore, this is your warning. If you haven't played through the whole Act 1 and Act 2 of the Archon 4.0 story quest, go back and play it. Then come back to this video but if you have played it there was some really interesting points that came throughout that story quest so at the very beginning of the quest d is like oh yeah just go that way and you're gonna go you're gonna get to fontaine we went that way and we got to fontaine it was pretty cool i don't know why we didn't do it sooner i guess the whatever but the second we get there we get to instantly meet some new characters we meet lynette which is one of my favorite additions to genshin next we get to meet her brother lenny which they both seem really cool they seem really nice we help them do some tasks getting ready for a show that night and then we get to meet none other than the hydro archon herself the reason we came to fontaine fosalor i think that's how you say her name i think farina is her actual vessel fosalor is the name of the archon in the same way that it's zhongli is the name of the vessel and rex lapis is the name of the archon do we know venti's Vessel's name is, I guess, Venti? Barbados. Barbados and Venti, same type of thing. Do we know Venti's vessel? Anyway. So she quickly starts putting on a show. We start finding out real quick what kind of Archon she is, and she's a little off her rocker. <laughs> we find out a little bit more about Fontaine, that this is basically the, the nation of the courtroom dramas. They treat every trial like a absolute spectacle, put everyone on blast, and if you decide that you're innocent and you don't want to go to trial, you can fight to the death with Clorinde, their champion and some people definitely take that option. Now they have a super long name for their judgment thing, their little judgment machine. I don't actually know what it's called. The Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal. The Hydro Archon made it. And basically it is always going to deliver justice. True justice. I don't really know how it does, but apparently it does. No matter what, then we also get to meet Nervalette. So Monsieur Nervalette is the chief justice. He's basically just under the Hydro Archon on terms of like the hierarchy but there's definitely there's definitely some signs that like he's not below her he like literally says things to her and she's like oh 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 oh, oh. like it's almost like he's like scolding her for like doing bad when she's supposed to be doing something different i don't there's a weird dynamic there i'm not sure what it is oh i forgot we also met freeman a freeman a with little little penguin remember that guy from the trailer we met him he wasn't very eventful but regardless we meet nervalette we get to see more about him he's super super mysterious super interesting we actually talked about it on stream and it's towards the end of the actually it's not on the end of the video we actually talked about it towards the end of the stream so if you want to go back and check out our conversation about nervalette you can do that it's on the third part of the uh, it's like the finale of the stream or whatever it's really interesting we think we know who he is and i gotta say if that is who he is that's pretty cool no spoilers in the comments <laughs> but lynette and lenny invite us to their magic show and it is spectacular they make a person's life disappear no bullshit they literally killed somebody <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, there's more to it. The whole trial unveils. Obviously, we all know the end of the trial, but it was pretty interesting. In the span of the trial, we got to learn that Lynette and Lenny are actually Fatui, which is crazy. They didn't even tell us. I mean, I guess we're kind of friends with child. So it's like, do we care? I don't, I don't know if it, that we care. If I have a dialogue option later on that allows me not to care that they're Fatui, I don't care. I like Lynette. She's my favorite. <laughs> but basically, the whole trial goes down. We get to meet Navia in the middle of it with two of the best characters we've ever scene silver and maloose dude these guys absolute giga chats bro if i had two bodyguards i tell you i would want silver right here and maloose right here now granted maloose you better cough up the information that you knew like years ago all right this voice has got to stop but yeah there's a lot of interesting lore behind navia we get to find out about her dad about basically what happened that he was framed for a murder stood on trial and fought clorinda even said in court she can tell when someone wants to live or just wants to die and she was like he kind of knew he wasn't leaving here alive crazy crazy the case ends we save lenny and lynette we basically absolve them of all wrongdoings as you know fatuis or fatus i think 
or ob obtuse, vetus, whatever. But during the trial, we get two cutscenes that literally breathed life into the whole quest for me throughout the rest of it. We get the first cutscene where Clorin comes and saves Navia because the traveler just like talks to a fountain and like KOs for some reason. I don't know, whatever. But they are fighting an army of the mecha things. And bro, Clorin is not playing around. Child gives us his vision, but he still wants to fight Clorin with his delusion, which is so sick. We get a second cutscene of Child fighting off Mech Knights in the middle of the courtroom with his delusion. Just before he completes the transformation for Foul Legacy, Nervalette comes out of his chair and absolutely stomps. Like one shot KOs, first turn kills Child. I mean, he didn't he didn't kill him, but he, he basically he subdued him with a hell of a lot of force. Just absolute blew this dude's back out, laid him out on the ground and was like, hmm. As he walks away, he like wipes blood off his cheek. He like didn't realize that child like, like I guess attacked him or like swung at him or whatever. I got a feeling child's got a bone to pick with Nervalette after that. Cause at the end of the day, he kind of got sucker punched. I'm just, I don't know who I'm taking in that fight. Let me know who you're taking in that fight in the comment section. I think child's got a chance, but throughout everything we get to learn about Linny and Lynette, we get to learn about Navia and her past. We get to basically uncover two mysteries, which was super fun. I wasn't expecting this out of this whole region. I wasn't expecting it to be like a courtroom drama slash like detective mini game type thing. It was honestly really fun. I enjoyed it. The courtroom part kind of dragged for me, but that's not a big deal. It was a little slow, but after everything, I think the payoffs made it worth it. I enjoyed the full story quest. I thought it was a blast. Playing it on stream made it all the more special because I got to experience it with a bunch of you guys. To make sure you don't miss out on the next stream, if you guys want to catch that, make sure you're subscribed down below. Hit the red button down there and click the bell next to it to turn on notifications so you get notified every single time I post a video or go live. Overall, I think this was a good story. I don't know that this was like their absolute best, but I think this was really, really good. For me, I'm going to go ahead and say when Kazuha blocked the Muso no Hitotachi from Raiden, that was like one of the craziest moments ever. Getting to see Raiden in her final form, getting to fight her, that whole Inazuma story quest to me was just poetry, bro. It was so good. This is right up there with Inazuma for me. Don't get me wrong, Sumeru was really good as well. I think there was a lot of cool themes in Sumeru, a lot of cool characters, but Inazuma just hit different, bro. And this story is the same way. This story was dark. This story was gritty. They didn't pull very many punches. Like, obviously, they're not going to show like anything crazy, but they were talking about some dark shit. <laughs> so in general, I really enjoyed this quest. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Uh, you got to scroll to the comment section. You're going to pass the like button. So if you could click that on your way down, I'd really appreciate it. Any sort of interaction with the video helps out so we can get this video out to more people, make this conversation bigger, and honestly, just help me quit my job. I'm kidding. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really did enjoy this quest. I enjoyed making this video, talking about it. I'm all pumped, man. I'm, I'm ready to go do it again. Maybe not the courtroom part, but it's fine. I tried to just kind of remember everything off the top of my head. There were some parts that I missed. Like we didn't actually talk about the end of the case. The basically the case of the disappearing girls was like weird, bro. The whole thing was weird, but we did get to solve that case. But the guy was kind of just like this pitiful dude. Like he was like embarrassing. So he definitely got what was coming to him.